Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go over a couple things that um, just my approach on how to make materials and um, have you guys just make a messy kind of asset. I find that just not at first when you're learning a program to not try to make something anything specific, but try to like touch all the tools as much as possible. Try to see what the program does, um, all the little dials, all that kind of stuff. and um, then you're, you're trying to get a broad knowledge as fast as possible and get used to the program. Um, so when I'm working, you come in with this layer one automatically that is, um, I, I wouldn't use. So the first thing I do usually is, cl um, delete that. So I remove that. The layers that I use 99% of the time are these at these fill layers. So think of these fill layers as their own material that um, a full material. So if I go down here, you see that um, you can make like chrome, you can make roughness, you can go make a paint, you can make pretty much any material using this. Um, all these different parameters, you can change the colors, all that kind of stuff. Um, so Think of that. So, and usually um, I'm making a base of my um, object in this. So if it's like a road, I would make a base um, gray kind of layer for just to get the general material down. So I would name this like base. And then, I, and then if I, all the like little details on top. So I would do like a paint layer if it had paint strips on it, like a center line for cars to drive between. And then I would put dirt on top of that and then oil stains and all the little details that you build, make a realistic um, uh, asset. Um, and you build them up one on top of each other like they're actually on top of each other in real life. Um, and that's how I approach these different layers. Um, but for right now, um, I what I would want you to do is uh, create another layer. So we have a base. And what you do with these, um, you're going to be blending between, between different kind of materials. So I'm going to go over here and you can say add black mask. And then I'm going to go over here and right click the mask and say add paint. So this gives me the option to paint in where this material is. And I'll make it a chrome just to be very clear what's happening. So I can go over here and start painting it in like this. The benefit of doing this in different layers and putting in using a mask and these layers and building up details is that it's very editable after the fact. Rarely do you ever get something the first try. So especially when you're learning, um, you want to be able to edit your asset as easily as possible. So a, a director can be like, hey, I like your red material, but I would change the chrome to a, a rougher kind of chrome or change it to a a blue color because I built it this way I can easily go over here and be like I am gonna change this to a blue blue kind of rougher metal like he said or she said so um, it gives you the option to to make edits without having to remake everything if I put this all in one layer it would I would pretty much have to start from fresh It'd be really hard to fix it and it would be really slow and horrible. So even though it's a little more work and set up, um, you'll be faster in the long run. So think about how you're gonna break up these different elements of your asset. So I'm gonna change that back. So I'll make another layer. I'll undo this like blue metal. And then I'll add another layer. So this is basically the whole process. So I'm gonna go and I'll make a, maybe a dirt. Let's make a dirt. So I'll do a dirt and I'll do a really simple dirt. So put a brown color on it. 
and dirt is very rough it's not shiny so I'm gonna bring it to like a roughness and um, I'm gonna have the dirt raise up a little bit when it's painted so I'll bring up the height and then I am gonna use a black mask to get rid of it and then I'm gonna use right click over the mask and do a paint layer and then I'll go over here and start finding a brush that is would be a better option to get in on dirt so there's like a dirt brush so I can add some dirt here and you'll see that it is raising up and adding to the object it's a very simple kind of dirt but you kind of get that um, you kind of understand what I'm trying to explain here um, so I'm just adding this in like this and that looks good um, and then you can also if you're like I like the dirt but I want to another uh, add another feature I'm not sure about you can add that as another paint layer and maybe I want something weird like cracks that have dirt in them or crack pattern so make sure you hit X so then now there's a crack pattern dirt for some reason um, so you can do this stuff like and if the director's like hey I like the dirt part but there's some weird pattern on the back you're like oh yeah I was just trying that out. I can easily just turn off that layer and you don't have to like try to fix this layer that you knew was gonna be good um, so try to think about that as different features are on different layers so you can easily edit them or if um, different parts you can separate into different layers um, yeah so and there's also different things like say I want to use let's use just this rake well, can I use those no um, let's use a regular brush for now um, so I will add another layer add paint and I'm gonna add this I'm gonna rake that through and you're like ah, I I wanted I don't want it to add more dirt I want the rake to take away the dirt you can change this to be a multiply um, and then you can go in here and in the parameters you'll have to invert it because if you look at this this layer if you click on this and go to the mass section um, and I look at it without multiplying on you'll see that it's white so we need to invert this to be black so that when I hit multiply it will take away the mask and so and so um, I thought you could do an invert in here but if you you can also go over here and go to you can play with these different settings so if I were to go to multiply since it's a white line it's not going to do anything one against whatever your texturing is going to be the same thing so um, if I go over here to subtract then that will remove the white will subtract out the detail that's below it and now I can go over here into the material and you'll see that it's removing what's underneath it so if you're wondering what's gonna happen you can change this just make sure you're clicking on this mask and then going to the mask section and then going over here and playing around with these different things these different blending modes um, and you can get some interesting results okay um, and I think that is a good um, video on kind of the approach that I want you guys to use use the layers please do not put them all in one layer um, think about these things and break them apart um, the different aspects of a material so I'll see you in the next video